everyone, it's Christian back again, and I know it's shocking with another palm review. And this time we are doing Livestona cerebus, another uh, species in the Livestona, uh, the, the great Livestona uh, genus, which is a very relatively large genus, I'd say about 50 species or so. So um, this palm is used, uh, I want to say it's, it is relatively uncommon in Florida, but it is used in some plantings. It's not rare by any means, and it's not expensive by any means. Uh, it is nice because it gives a nice tropical broadleaf look that is actually similar to Livestona chinensis, the Chinese fan palm. But it gives it a little more upright leaflet. Um, it has it as these separations will kind of give this real segment look, which is uh, desirable. And uh, I don't want to get too much glare here, but we'll get into a. This is a pretty nice full frond here. You can see there's segmentations. It does grow upward from the hastula, which is right here. The hastula is on the palmate um, frond is right where the petiole ends and the frond starts. So it kind of makes this little curve, and the, the bottom is right there at the hastula. So see the segmentations are right here. It's irregular, irregularly segmented, but. Um, it does have some, it does have symmetry, even though it is irregular. There's, I'll try and explain, um, a more regularly segmented palm. And then there's a, uh, a third type, which I'll get into. It's a little bit too complex at the moment. And, but for now, uh, this, this plant here is quite cold hardy. It's about as cold hardy as it, uh, Livestona australis and Livestona decora. It'll take the mid twenties, at least, if not, uh, not less and probably good for zone 9a so you can grow this in jacksonville you can grow this in uh, orlando easily you can grow this in new orleans in houston um, and it does have that nice tropical look now we're going to go and look up at one that is probably 20 years old and that has a nice profile about it it's like a you can kind of see through but you can see all the profiles of the, the leaflets uh, the, the petioles, and I don't know if you can see from there, but the spines are very prominent on this uh, palm. In fact, it's uh, one of the downsides of this palm is the fact that the petioles are as spiny as they are. Um, so if you look, if we get real close here, you see the spines. Let's get to it. Try and get a good view. So if you see those spines, kind of serrated, well not serrated, but they're uh, they're angled inward. So you get your if you get your hand stuck in there, you're getting cut. In fact. Many, a couple of my friends who have potted these up vow to never pot them up again. So if you plant it in the ground one time, that's okay. If you're growing this as a, uh, for, in, like for example, in a field, you may want to wear some uh, welder's gloves, which will protect your wrists as well. Um, that's the only real downside to this plant. That, and it does, it will naturalize in an area where it does grow well. And it grows very well here. This, this is actually a volunteer. Now, a volunteer is a, seedling that comes up that was not planted in fact this plant seeds profusely and let's see if we can't get over and if you look at all these seeds right here these just dropped off they're going to have naturally you're going to see the seed is going to be the size of a small marble um the actual fruit with if you can see the blue uh fruit there attached let's get a little close up here actually we got one right here look they look like blueberries right so they're about that size and when they're cleaned which is usually cleaned by squirrels and other small animals, they're gonna be a little bit smaller and they germinate very easily uh, here in Florida. And they're relatively easy germinators. They're gonna grow like any other Livestona where they're going to have, um, you know, put put up a couple strap leaves and then they're gonna kinda, of, they're gonna be slow at first and then kinda of take off. Uh, this one's probably about uh, four to five years old. Um, you could probably grow it faster if you wanted to. This one hasn't really been given any fertilizer. It just kinda of grows naturally here. Uh, but there, I mean, there is an irrigation head there, so it is getting regular water. Um, but these are great for, you know, these are nice, tall, good canopy palms. If you want to have, I mean, it's not going to give a full canopy, but, uh, you know, as far as, I mean, shade underneath, but it will give some, if you plant a bunch of them, you can see this one gets quite a bit of water. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about the nature of this. Um, there are different names for this root structure, this couple of this foot or so of roots that stand above the ground this is very common in date palms and other uh larger palms that uh in the that get regular irrigation basically what happens is, is the palm is self aerating its roots it is basically saying uh you know i'm getting a lot of water 
I don't want my roots to rot, so I'm going to kind of flare them out. So they actually burst out of the trunk, and they, uh, they, they just kind of get water straight from, straight from the air instead of waiting, for the gra- waiting in the ground or waiting for it to suck up from the ground into the trunk. So uh, with that said, you know, the cold hardiness is good. The growth rate is pretty good. There's plenty of fruit up there. They seed very easily. They're not that expensive. A plant about this size will run you in a nursery about $60. That's a, that's a pretty good start there. Um, depending on where you go and where you live in Florida, it's about a $60 plant, maybe a little bit more, maybe 75. But uh, it, it's quite a nice looking plant. Just, you know, st- steer clear of the, uh, of the, uh, the petioles because they will cut you pretty well. And um, anyway, so that is the Livestone Cerebus. The, actually, I'm, you know, let me rephrase that. I believe it has been renamed to Cerebus is the actual genus now. It might be Cerebus Cerebus. I'll put it in the description below or in the, the title. Uh, it was Livestone Cerebus for such a long time that I just keep on calling it that. So I will make sure that that, is, that has not been renamed or if it has, I'll, I'll title it so and uh like i said it's a great plant for you know for cold hardy areas they will tolerate lots of water they'll tolerate some drought um they'll tolerate quite a bit of heat and decent amount of cold too i'd say about 22 is going to be where the palm's going to start really going downhill so with that said i'll leave you here with uh the, the cerebus both small and big and i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you guys soon